All right, so Cobra Kai Season 2 came out in 2019. This was still in the phase of this show being under the YouTube Red subscription, which is basically like the streaming service YouTube used to have before they just had YouTube Premium. So this show started off the first two seasons being on YouTube Red and then got picked up by Netflix around 2020, and then the third season came out around 2021. And I will tell you right now, if you have not seen this season... There's a really huge cliffhanger, and people had to wait two years to see what happened after that. And um, I'll be honest, they kind of resolved it pretty quickly in the third season. But hey, it's, it's still a cliffhanger that left a lot of people speechless, and a lot of people had to wait. Me personally, did I have to wait? I don't know for sure. I, I probably didn't have to wait long, because I can't remember if the first two seasons got put on Netflix like when they bought it. And then, like, the third season came out after. I think that's probably how it was. And then I watched it not long after it got put on Netflix. So I think I had to wait a little bit, but not as long as some people that actually kept up with it when it really came out on YouTube Red. Um, this is a great season. I really love the first season of this show. And this season, I think, is just as good. I don't know if I, I would call it better, but there are a lot of aspects in this season that... Just kind of build upon what the first one did and just makes me really appreciate the setup. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into two specifics here. Yes, this is a season two review. Who would click on this if they haven't seen the second season? So maybe I'll get into some spoiler territory um, in a little bit here. But as for right now, just the, my regular review. Um, had a lot of fun with this one. This season makes this show more of a soap opera than it ever was in the first one and um i mean there's love triangles and shit like that I, I could give less of a shit about the love triangles between like you know sam and robbie and and miguel and uh and uh uh what's her face tori by the way tori um yeah this is basically just a spoiler discussion i guess you could say this is more for the people that have actually watched cobra kai um uh, because like if you haven't seen Cobra Kai, why are you clicking on a season two review? I don't know. But, like, I fucking hate Tori for the most part. She has some, like, maybe not redeeming qualities, but things you can, like, I don't know, kind of understand her situation and kind of feel for her in, I think, season three. I think they do a little bit there and then a lot in season four. Um, but, yeah, I hate her in the season so much. She's just... And I hate... When, calling women this i hate calling people this in general but she is such a bitch and that's honestly the word she uses for samantha i'm just like have you looked in the mirror like you are such a nasty person like you're constantly just doing terrible shit and uh making bad decisions and i'm just like how are we supposed to you know sympathize with this character whatsoever and the answer is i don't not in this season at least and it took me quite a while to actually come around with her character to fully accept her as the person that she is. And she has an arc and whatnot, so I can appreciate that. But as for this season alone, she just seems to be just the worst human being. And uh, yeah, and especially by the end there with everything that went down in the school. And I hate to say this on YouTube because I know they're strict about certain stuff, but she literally gave off school shooter vibes by grabbing the microphone for the, um, you know, the PA system or whatever it's called and literally calls out Samantha says, you know, I'm coming for you, bitch. Like, that's some straight up school shooter shit. And then you have all these other Cobra Kais that are just starting fights and stuff like that. Honestly, in my opinion, the Miyagi does were just pretty much defending themselves, except for like maybe Nathaniel. Nathaniel was just being, you know, he was he was still kind of under the mindset of Cobra Kai. I like that moment he has in this season where he's like uh, in Miyagi-Do and he's like, what's the first rule of karate? And he's like, strike, fire, strike, hard, no mercy, sir. And he's just like, no, oh my God, you've been so brainwashed. Um, which honestly they kind of have. And I don't fully blame Johnny. I don't know. But Johnny's still kind of figuring things out himself. And then the whole, you know, introduction of Crease into this season. Um, granted, you know, in the last season, in the very end, we got the introduction of that. But they really just replayed that again in the beginning of this season. So that doesn't really completely matter too much. I'll consider this the real introduction of his character to the show. And um, 
Kreese is straight up like a cartoon villain in this this season for sure. And I know he becomes more of a cartoon villain as the seasons go on. And then Terry Silver comes in and so on and so forth. It becomes straight up just like, almost like a Marvel movie. <laughs> I mean, you got like these actual, you know, the, there's people in these situations like Miguel. I mean, I'm already kind of getting ahead of myself in terms of seasons and whatnot. But, you know, like, it, it just gets so crazy to the point, I, you know what, I'll save it for another review because I'm going to be talking about the other seasons, which, by the way, I'm not going to probably get to the other ones as quickly. I don't know for sure, uh, just because I have work and whatnot. So I had the last couple of days off and I binged the first two seasons at least. So I had the time to do it. But as for the next few days or so, I'm not really sure. Also, I need to watch the uh, first two Clerks movies in preparation for the third coming out on Thursday, I believe. So there's other things I need to watch. So the like season three, four, and five uh, reviews might be a little postponed, but uh, we'll see how quickly I can get through it. But I'm sticking with it because I love this show and I want to put these reviews out for it. And also I really want to watch season five. So we will get to it eventually, but uh, it won't take me too long, honestly. But yeah, let me look at some of my notes here. Um, no All Valley Tournament this season. The big final thing that happens in the finale is the whole school fight and honestly I don't think anything Cobra Kai has done since that school fight has really topped that said school fight um but you know they're trying we'll see how season five does I think we're gonna get some cool moments with Chosen and, and Johnny and all that again getting ahead of myself I cannot wait to watch that fifth season just because I keep seeing it on Netflix and I keep seeing like Johnny and Chosen next to each other. And I'm just like, oh my God, seeing them together. I can't wait to see what their interaction is like. Oh, uh, and Chosen isn't even in the show yet. I think that comes in maybe next season or season four. I think it might be season four, but uh, yeah, I got a bit to go. Um, let me see here. I already talked about how much I hate Tori. I almost said love and I would not mean that. Um... I don't give a shit who is dating who. I really don't. I could give... I couldn't give less of a shit who is dating who in this show. The only people I really care about in this show are Johnny and Daniel. And the moment this show takes them out of it for whatever reason is the, is the time I stop watching. Because that is what I'm here for. And if I don't get enough of it, I will not be satisfied. That sounds... A little a little sus but uh yeah let me see here um we get to see johnny's old friends from the original karate kid same actors as well you know there's tommy there's uh there's jimmy and bobby and uh we don't get dutch in here because dutch is said to be in prison so uh that's fun possibly gonna see that actor slash character in the future most likely i don't know maybe um, there's a lot of characters I'd like to see from the original films come into it, especially, I think it would be cool to see Hilary Swank come in as her character, which I have not seen the, uh, is it called the next Karate Kid? Have not seen that one, but that would be cool. Um, and most likely, do, do I think they're going to bring in Jaden Smith? Most likely not, especially with everything going on with Will Smith. I think he kind of, you know, fucked up his old family for that kind of shit, but yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool. Um, at the very least, I hope they don't bring in, like, Mr. Miyagi as, like, a force ghost or anything like that, because I, I don't want them to, like, digitally recreate Pat Morita. They don't have the budget for that, really, but, um, yeah, let me see here. Yeah, like I said, they, uh, we get to see some of his old Cobra Kai buddies. He gets to talk about, uh, talk to them about, uh, you know, how he restarted Cobra Kai, and he's trying to make it different, and also talks about how Kreese is back into the picture, and it's just fun to see them kind of react to that and see how they feel about the situation. And they have, and I'm hope, I hope I'm using this word right, uh, animosity, anim, animosity. I think that's like a negative term about something. But um, yeah, they kind of have that towards Crease and the whole situation of Cobra Kai and how it really messed them up. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it makes sense where they're coming from for sure. But, uh, you know, spoiler alert. I know I've been talking about some crazy shit already, but spoiler alert, click off this video if you uh, if you have not watched this uh, this season or really any of Cobra Kai. 
Um, you know, the whole big thing with, I'm sorry, I'm tired and I also have something in my eye for some reason. Uh, but, but the big thing with, uh, and I believe it's Tommy, Tommy's character is that in, I think the seventh or eighth episode, that character actually dies in the show and, uh, and that character dies of cancer. And then also in real life around the same time, the, the season was released, I believe, uh, he also died of cancer and uh, it's sad, but also the kind of ironic thing in the episode is that he got put in the body back. And if you've seen the original Karate Kid, you'll know that there was a dude in the background while Johnny and Daniel were fighting in, towards the end of the movie where he's like, get him a body bag. Yeah. And they also have a flashback to it in the show. Um, that was the guy. And he, the guy that told Johnny to give Daniel a body bag or get him in a body bag, essentially. Uh, got put in a body bag himself, but those those dudes, they seem like they really kind of turned their lives around. I believe Bobby, uh, he's a pastor now. They keep making fun of him because he, they think he's a priest or whatever, um, but we, see, we do see Bobby one more time. As for Tommy, obviously, we don't see him again, and Jimmy, we have not seen him yet again, so uh, maybe we'll see him in the future, but I think Bobby is a more likely character. Um, you know, Jimmy in the show kind of seemed like he had his own family and his own stuff going on. So he seems like a busy guy. But, um, yeah, it's always nice to see Bobby in there. He seems like a nice, familiar face and really turned his life around for the better and kind of gives Johnny the, you know, some some guidance and whatnot when he really needs it, especially in the next season, which, uh, speaking of, you know, that makes me emotional. And speaking of emotional... Like, this this season has a lot of emotional moments for me, some of which deal with, you know, Robbie, his mom being absent and not having any power at home. Daniel shows up to his apartment and is like, hey, is your mom home? And he can just tell on his face that, like, he's just so distraught and just, you know, so sick of the situation and whatnot. Daniel takes him in and it's just like, stuff like that hits me hard. Hopefully I don't tear up right now. Um, and then the whole aspect of Robbie's mom coming back, telling him, Hey, I have to leave again. He's like, where to now? Uh, Baja Vegas. And she's like rehab and, uh, Oh, all right. I might not have, I, I probably can't talk about it cause it's making me emotional. <laughs> it I, honestly is right now, but, um, yeah, uh, Definitely some emotional moments in this uh, in this season, especially the whole Miguel thing. But at the same time, it didn't make me emotional this time around because I've seen this season so many times and I remember what happened so many times. And I also know what comes in the next season and how quickly they kind of deal with that. So it doesn't really affect me anymore, to be honest. Um, although there are some some moments in there, like the whole the voice message from Miguel um while Johnny is standing outside his hospital room, just looking in the window, seeing him in a coma, essentially. And, oh, that fucking hit me hard. Um, and I feel like there were some other moments in there, but I, can, I can't really remember for sure. There were definitely other moments in there that made me emotional, though. But this is a pretty great season. I really do like this season. Um, if I had to give a rating, which, by the way, I didn't really give a rating for the last season, that one... I have to give like a 9 out of 10. That season is just so freaking awesome to me. I love it and I would rewatch it so many times. As for this one, I think I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10. It's still really great, but it's starting to get in that territory of just like being an all-out soap opera while also kind of being a Marvel movie with these, you know, little karate people that are pretty much like superheroes in some aspects, just like throwing people around, fucking throwing people in the trees and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? Who, who are these kids and how are they so strong? Um, but then you see like other characters like Dimitri not really getting the hang of it as quick, but you get so excited for him when he actually does do some things and especially, you know, throws Hawk into that display case at the uh, in the last episode. So I was just like, hell yeah, Dimitri, get some. And then I think like next season or the fourth season is when he gets with Yasmin or Yasmin. So I'm like, my boy Dimitri, love it, love to see it, um, Hawk is an all-out asshole in this season, I absolutely, I wouldn't say absolutely hate Hawk in this season, but he's just a complete asshole, 
you know, he tries to, Dimitri tries to have a genuine moment with him. They're talking about Doctor Who and he gets all excited about it. I'm just like, there's the real, there's a real person behind the, the whole persona. Like there's, there's a real human being there. And then Dimitri just kind of gets a little cocky and kind of talks too much like he does and then just turns it sideways. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up, Dimitri. Sometimes that kid really does need to shut the fuck up. But uh, overall, I do really like this season. Eight out of ten, I believe, is what I said. But uh, yeah, I mean, it gets a little fantastical in some elements. Also, one thing that I noticed towards the end, um, did I write it down? I mean, one thing that I said is that it gets bleak at the end, and I'm, that's completely true. But one thing I thought was funny is that that person was giving the announcements when Tori interrupted and said, like, hey, Samantha LaRusso, I'm coming for you, bitch. Um, you know, the the thing before that, she was doing the announcements. The bell rang, so they go to class. She's doing the announcements, which they do in the beginning of class, mind you. And then once Tori comes in and says, hey, Samantha LaRusso, I'm coming for you, bitch. The bell rings. That's not how bells work. Have you been to a school before? Because they, I don't know about you, but the one I went to, it doesn't work like that. The bells go off when they are scheduled to go off. They, you can't just make them work whenever you want. If you want a, a, a you know, like a, a, a sound to go off whenever you want, then you just pull a fucking fire alarm. But that's not how school bells work, at least not where I'm from. I could be wrong. Maybe... I mean, this does take place in, like, California, so that, you know, they probably got the the nice bougie, the, the Louis Vuitton bills, so, um, I don't know, just one thing I noticed there that I kind of didn't notice before, and I was just watching it, and I was just like, didn't the bell just fucking ring? Like, they just pretty much sat down for class, and the bell already rang, like, mid-announcements. I'm like, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> But, um, I mean, if that's my only real big complaint, aside from, like, this show kind of being too much of a soap opera at times, I'll take it. I mean, there's some great bonding moments between Johnny and Daniel in this season. I mean, the thing is, they bond for a little bit, kind of become friends, and then something happens and they become enemies again. And then and this cycle repeats. But, uh, I'm not mad at it. It's only the second season so far that I'm rewatching, so it doesn't bother me yet, but if they continue to do that, which I, I, I feel like they kind of do a little bit going forward, but not as much, um, if they continue to do that, I'm just like, at some point, you just have to look at them and be like, are you still having this argument? Are you still having this fight? Like, come on. I thought we resolved this. Same goes for all the other characters. Just like, if characters, and I said this in the last review for season one, if these motherfuckers would just talk shit out, most of the time it wouldn't end in a fight. If if you just talked it out and were truthful to people and just did the right thing, you wouldn't have to deal with Miguel having a broken back. Enough said. Uh, yeah, so there's my kind of off-the-cusp review of season two of Cobra Kai, which I once again believe came out in 2019, so we had to wait two years for that... Uh, that third season pretty much but uh but hey you know we can binge it all now so that's pretty cool uh what do you think of season two of cobra kai did you love it did you hate it are you in the middle what do you think of cobra kai in general i would love to know uh personally this is one of my favorite shows one of the few shows that i've actually rewatched multiple times uh that includes you know like the office invincible even though that's only the first season uh what else is on that list that 70s show I've, I've watched a couple times rick and morty here and there although i haven't watched the newer seasons so need to get on that eventually but love this show i also am a huge fan of the original karate kid film and uh i like one and two and then you know the jaden smith one is what a, you know and like i said before i didn't see the uh the one with hillary swank so i need to get on that one and just Check that one out before maybe that character shows up in Cobra Kai, but who knows? Uh, I should be back in the next episode to review season three, most likely, and if not, it'll be my review for the first Clerks film uh, in preparation for the third one coming out on Thursday. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload, and I will see you in the next one.